Yeah, I mean this. The captain of the West is definitely LeBron James. There is not a lot to explain. He's been the captain of the NBA for a while now. He's the captain of the Western Conference. He's the captain. Okay, there's like no debating. Like, I don't understand what you would say to debate that. LeBron is the captain of the Western Conference. No debate. For captain of LeBron James, we've seen how bad the Lakers are without him. They've lost to teams like the Cavs or the Hawks. Stop it. Get some help. The last couple games have really proven my point. He's for sure the captain. Now at starting point guard, I got none other than Stephen Curry. Now you could debate if Curry can start, but like, it's Curry, he's the best shooter in the world. He's the best shooter arguably ever. He's one of the best players in the NBA right now. He's by far the starting point guard in my, in my opinion. No getting around that. For starting point guard of Steph, he's been having a solid season for his standards. He's been helping the Warriors win, even though Clay and Dre haven't been having great seasons. We got James Harden. Um, uh, Harden's averaging 30 33 points per game in most of the NBA. He's an insane beast. He's insane. He's by far the best shooting guard in the NBA, by far the best shooting guard in the West. There's not a lot of debating to do. Definitely starting at the shooting guard for position is James Harden. Shooting guard of James Harden, he single-handedly kept the Rockets in finals discussions. They're pretty bad without him, even with Chris Paul. And then three, it's LeBron James. LeBron James is never going to come off the bench. He's never come off the bench before. He's not going to come off the bench. It doesn't matter. Like he's LeBron James is the best player in the NBA, best player in the world. He's starting at the small forward position, okay? You can't you can't get around that, all right? Like, you really can't. Small forward, I give it to Kevin Durant. For me, it was between Paul George and Kevin Durant. Even though Paul George has been having an amazing year, I ended up giving it to Kevin Durant because it's Kevin Durant. Now, at the power forward position is where it gets tricky for me. Ariane had KD starting at three. I could respect that. But at the power forward position, I just got Anthony Davis. He plays power forward. He's the best power forward in the NBA. In my opinion, he's the second best player in the NBA. Name one thing he can't do. Like, I, there's nothing. He can do everything. Power forward LeBron James. I went over this. We've seen how bad the Lakers are without him. He's for sure to start in power forward. Now, in my five position, I got Cat. Now, this one was a very debatable one, but Cat. To me, is the second best center in the NBA. To me, he's definitely the best center in the East. I think Cat is too good to come off the bench. And now you guys might be thinking, Katie is too good to come off the bench. Yeah, but Katie plays small forward, and there's so many good small forwards and wings players that are in the All Star game and are starting. The center's Anthony Davis. He single handedly kept the Pelicans' playoff hopes alive, and they've been terrible without him. First point guard off the bench to me. Definitely Damian Lillard, putting up 25.6 points per game this season. All around beast, but Damian Lillard by far the best bench point card. He's just too much of an all around beast, leading the Trailblazers to a playoff appearance again, just to get eliminated in the first round by the Warriors, but you know, that doesn't matter. Damian Lillard is an all-star. He's been an all-star forever. He's definitely uh, the first point guard off the bench. First off the bench is Paul George. He's been having an amazing year. He's quietly a dark horse MVP candidate, and he's done all of this while Russell Westbrook hasn't been great. Now, shooting guard coming off the bench, I got DeMar DeRozan. Um, DeMar DeRozan has came into the role of the star player for the Spurs, leading them to a 25-19 record, adjusting to the, to the Greg Popovich lineup. He's shown that he's all-star again this year, putting up crazy numbers, as always, of what you get for DeMar DeRozan. He's been all-star forever. Nothing's changed for me this year. I got him coming off the bench as a, as a three spot. I mean, as a two spot. Next is Damian Lillard. He's been the main reason the Blazers have overachieved this year. Without him, I don't even know if the Blazers would be in contention of making the playoffs. So, at small forward coming off the bench, this is where I have Kevin Durant. We both have Kevin Durant just in different places. Obviously, like, there's no way you can say he's not an all-star. He's going to get the same amount of playing time as Strider. He's just coming off the bench. Third off the bench is Russell Westbrook. Let's be real. He hasn't been having a great year this year, and he has to stop shooting the three. Now, power forward, this is where it's like frick the positions, okay? Paul George is, is right there, okay? 
I got Paul George in this position. He's having the best season of his career by far. Now I think you could safe to say he's the best player in the Thunder. Putting up 26 points per game this season, having his career year, taking over the offense, taking the reins of the offense. Now don't get it messed up. Russell Westbrook is definitely still one of the best point guards in the league and one of the best point guards to ever play. Right now, Paul George, he's got the team on his back. Right? Not his, let me take the back. Not on his back, but he's got the team. He's got, the, it's his team right now. Next is DeMar DeRozan. He's been helping the Spurs stay in the playoff race. Uh, although his stats are a little bit inflated due to being a pop system, he's still been having a great year. Now at the five, I got Jokic. Um, Jokic has been amazing this year, leading the Nuggets to the first seed in the Western Conference, doing what Jokic does, 18, 10, and 8. You know, as a center, that's a very hard numbers to put up. Those are like point guard numbers. And if he's playing insane, definitely going to be an all-star. Now, I would question if he would be an all-star if the Nuggets weren't as good as they were, but they are the number one seed in the West. So he's definitely an all-star this year. I got him at the backup center. Next is CJ McCollum. For me, this was the most controversial one. It's between him, players like Devin Booker, Drew Holiday, Gary Harris. The reason I give it to him is because of how good the team is doing. The number six player off the bench, I got Russell Westbrook. Now Westbrook, he is an all-star, obviously. I just don't think right now he's better than Damian Lillard. Westbrook's still coming off the bench. Westbrook's still gonna be Russell Westbrook. We know what he's capable of. Russell Westbrook's gotta be an all-star. You know, there's like no debate. Russell Westbrook's all-star. I got him coming at number six. Tobias Harris. He's by far been the Clippers' best player this year, and I'm aware that they have Lou Will. He's been the reason the Clippers have been so good this year. And by the way, <laughs> last season, Nicole Jokic, something has to be wrong with you if he's not on your all-star ballot. He's led the Nuggets to the first seed in the West. They've been amazing, and they don't even have a second All-Star. He's led the team himself. Now at number seven, this is probably the most debatable one. Oregon's got Tobias Harris. I can respect that, but I still got LaMarcus Aldridge. You know, he's putting up LaMarcus Aldridge time numbers, and he's been a phenomenal. I He's been phenomenal this year. Now you can definitely debate who would be in this position. But for me, it's Lamarcus Aldridge. That's just my opinion. Y'all can respect it, y'all can not. I got Lamarcus Aldridge here. Thanks for already on, Christopher, for making this possible, bro. I've been watching you for a little bit. You've been watching me for a little bit. We supporting each other for a little bit. So we decided to make a collab. Um, tell me what you guys thought in the comments. Leave him a like, give him a subscribe. That would do for my part of the video. Um, make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Um, also, like I said, we did the East All-Stars on his channel, so make sure to go click that link right on the top of your screen right now, what you're looking at right now. Make sure to go watch the East All-Stars. Tell them I sent you. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. See y'all in the next one.